Claude 3 has been out for a week now. Now, on the day it came out, I did a live stream giving my initial impressions, running through some tests, and I learned quite a bit from that process. We learned that, for one, it's not nearly as moderated as past versions of Claude, particularly Claude 2.1. So let's say, right, the first scene of a murder mystery. Well, it's starting to write it. Oh, and it's even got like blood pools around his head, staining the standard papers beneath him. It's writing it as a script, which is interesting. Yeah, so it's doing something. That's that's better than I expected, honestly. Let's try the. Uh, I'm not gonna do kids bullying other kids because I think it would pro that one. I'm pretty sure it would stop us. But let's say write a story about a kid trying to save another kid from being bullied and see if it can like understand the nuance there like why this is like a heroic thing to do rather than it's writing it it's not stopping it's not bad not bad at all so definitely i mean i'm sure it I'm, I, it, it definitely will still censor some things guaranteed but this is leaps and bounds better than 2.1 there is still going to be some moderation no matter what but on the whole it was able to understand the nuances between things that authors need to write into in their work and things that would be genuinely harmful in some way and thankfully i think this is going to only get better as these models improve they're not only going to be able to censor out the stuff that we don't actually want in the world but they are actually going to be able to allow authors like ourselves to work with it in a way that that works now of course it's not going to be able to do everything if you write explicit sexual content or really gory graphic details it's not going to do those as well and so you would be better off for those specific scenes to work with a open source model but we did find through the tests i ran several of them we had it write the opening scene of a murder mystery with lots of gory details i even told it to include lots of gory details and it did the job for us uh, I also ran a test of showing a scene of one child saving another child from bullies, something that 2.1 was not able to do because it uh, immediately just sees the word bullies and isn't able to do that. And I also ran it through some nonfiction prompts, particularly for article writing, and found it to be just as good, if not better, than past models. And I even ran it through Novel Crafter and found that Claude 3 in Novel Crafter was some of the best AI writing that I have ever seen. When you give it all of the context that Novel Crafter provides, the actual finished prose was phenomenal. And while I still had to edit the finished prose, the only reason I did so is to make it a little bit more like my style and more like how I would want it to be written. But there was actually very little that I would say was objectively wrong about the prose. It could have worked just as is. But in order to give it a little bit more human quality, a little bit more of my own personal flair, I still did some editing on it. But I did find that I was having to check the output that it gave me less and less. To give you context, when I was using Claude 2.0, which up until this point has been my absolute favorite model out there for creative writing, even with 2.0, I had to check it over and over again and sometimes have to run the prompt many, many times in order to get the actual prose that I wanted. Now, when it was good, it was good, but so often it was hard to get to that point. And the main problem was that it wouldn't follow my prompt. It would start following the prompt, but then we'd get sidetracked and go in a completely different direction, completely ignoring half of the story beats that I wanted it to write. With Claude 3, particularly Claude 3 Opus, this does not happen. I have yet to actually have to rerun the prompt simply because it didn't follow the prompt. It always follows the prompt now. Additionally, one of my other favorite things about Claude 2 is that it tended to give you longer outputs when you prompted it correctly. These outputs usually ranged from 1,500 to 2,000 words, sometimes getting even longer, up to 3,000 words. And with Claude 3 Opus, I'm happy to say that I've been able to get the same results out of it, particularly in Claude Pro, the actual chatbot that Anthropic has delivered for us. Additionally, the prose is just as good at Claude 2.0 at its best and far superior to what you get with GPT-4 or GPT-3.5. I also tested Claude 3's less expensive version, Sonnet, and found that to be 
better than the GPT models, but significantly not as good as Claude 3 Opus. Claude 3 Opus does seem to be a better creative writer. That said, Claude 3 Sonnet is the one available in the free version of Claude, and so it's going to be the one most accessible to most people. But if you're using Claude in, say, Novelcraft, or if you can afford to pay for it in Claude Pro, I highly recommend getting Claude 3 Opus because it is significantly better for creative writing. That said, Claude 3 Sonnet is still better than what we had in the past, particularly with Claude 2.1. Uh, so it's still, it's good news all around. For instance, check out this text that was written with Claude 3 Sonnet. Rain pounded against the window panes as I slammed the flat door behind me. Shivering, I peeled off my soaked jacket and flung it onto the hard wood. Damp strands of hair clung to my face, water trickling down my neck. Not bad, actually. You know, this, you know, it, it describes all of the action. There's a little bit of showing, not telling, particularly with that last sentence of the strands of hair, but also a little bit telling in the sense that it's just like pounded against the window pane, slammed the flat door behind me, peeled off, you know, it's just saying what happened, right? Well, compare that to this text from Claude 3 Opus. I slammed the flat door shut behind me, shivering from the chill that had seeped into my bones. The torrential rain outside hadn't let up since I left the coffee shop. My teeth chattered as I fumbled with the light switch, my numb fingers struggling to flick it on. Definitely much more interesting, much more description, and overall a better opening paragraph. I also found Claude 3 Opus to be better at dialogue than Claude 3 Sonnet, but the two are very similar to each other. And so really, if you are strapped for cash, Claude 3 Sonnet will do in a pitch. Just remember that you might have to do a little bit more editing of Claude 3 Sonnet than otherwise. I even tested this against my own custom fine-tuned models that write like me and found that even though the fine-tuned models sounded more like me, the general flow of the fiction, showing the action proceeding in a certain way and doing so in a way that made sense and it was logical, that was actually something that Claude 3 Opus was able to do better than even my fine-tuned model. The fine-tuned model was great for my style, but for actual, like, better fiction, Claude 3 Opus was far superior. In an ideal world, we'd be able to fine-tune a Claude 3 model, but I have a feeling that's going to be a little ways off. And I actually think what may be a better option, if you want something that writes in your style, is to use Claude 3 Opus to generate your prose and then use a fine-tuned model designed to take Claude 3 Opus's text and write it more in your style and therefore use that fine-tuned model to rewrite everything more consistently with your style. So what's the verdict here? Basically, out of all of the testing that I've done, I believe Claude 3 Opus and Claude 3 Sonnet to be the single best large language models out there for creative writing hands down nothing even comes close the only situation where you would want a different model in my opinion is if you're writing not safe for work content and need to use an open source model but barring those eventualities claude 3 opus and sonnet are absolutely amazing for creative writing they have already sped up my process yesterday i wrote about a thousand words of edited prose in about half an hour and almost without even thinking about it, I just started working and then, re you know, half an hour had gone by and I had a whole thousand words of text. It is absolutely phenomenal and I highly encourage everybody to go and be using these models strongly in your writing. Make sure, of course, to make it your own, to give it the proper editing that it needs, and maybe even use a fine-tuned model to spruce it up to make it a little bit better. But I actually think that Claude 3 might actually be better than some fine-tuned models out there, depending on the type of style that you write in. So those are my thoughts after working with Claude 3 for a whole week now. Now in this video, I mentioned Novel Crafter. If you wanna know more about Novel Crafter, I'll have a video linked right here where you can get to understand the basic 101 things when getting started with that program because it is the best way to incorporate Claude 3 into your writing. So I'll put a link to that right here and I'll see you in the next video.